So I definitely draw upon those experiences from competing at quite a high level. Um, and the good and the bad in that. So knowing um, what it gave me personally in terms of self-confidence and, and living an active lifestyle and the competency, competency to do that, but also the pressures that that can place upon children and knowing that, you know, it has to, you have to be able to deliver athletics particularly in a really stable environment where the, the pressures are mounted so much that it can deter participation. Um, so my experiences definitely have influenced the way I teach. I'm still fairly confident to demonstrate lots of things and I love getting out there in front of the students and the children and, and demonstrating what I do, especially in running. My throwing's not fantastic, but I tell the students that, I tell the children that, that I'm not great at everything, running, jumping and throwing. There's something for everyone. And if you're here to have a go, we can definitely improve on all your skills. An athlete needs to develop a skill. Um, and to me, coaching is a skill. So I don't believe that you have to have performed in that particular sport at a high level to coach that sport well. What you do need to do is you need to develop the ability to coach. And then you should be able to take that ability as a coach. And as long as you learn what the theory is behind the sport, you can then adapt your coaching ability to any of those sports. That will obviously take some time learning the rules, learning the techniques, learning the fundamentals behind that sport, but you should be able to coach any sport at any given level and I've actually coached two different sports uh, at an Australian level so that's probably an example uh, of that and I've only played one of those at a higher level. The other sport I was virtually not involved with at all until I became a coach.